In the last video tutorial, we created a simple Java project. Then we downloaded the Selenium binding for Java from its official website and it was a zip file. When we unzipped that file, we found there are so many different jar files within that folder. Why we have so many jar files? Because Selenium automates browser. So Selenium has dependency on Chrome, Edge and also Selenium is using capabilities provided by some different jar files. So they have grouped all those jar files into a package and that is zip which we downloaded from official website. In the real time, we need to add so many dependencies in our project because if you want to read data from Excel, then we need to add another dependency for it. If you want to serialize or deserialize JSON, then we need to add another dependency for that. So we need to use so many different dependencies for our project. Similarly, Selenium also requires different capabilities which are coming from different dependencies. So they have grouped all those and created a zip file. In our Java project, we added all the Java files explicitly. Then only we were able to write our first basic scripts where we launched Chrome browser and navigated to URL. To launch the Chrome browser, we used the class Chrome driver, which is coming from Selenium. Now we got some problem with this approach. First problem, as of now, we downloaded Selenium version 4.14. But it is highly possible that Selenium will release their latest version. And if you want to upgrade the version in your project, then again, you need to download the latest version from official website of Selenium, then you need to unzip it and add those jar files to your project. But before adding the new jar files, we need to remove the older one. This is a hectic process because you need to keep doing the same steps again and again for every newer version of Selenium. Second problem, as of now, we downloaded all these jar files locally and we differenced in this project. But generally we work in a team and if you share this project, to your team member then they also need to download the selenium of same version whatever you have used in their local system and then they need to link to project why same version suppose you are using some feature which is provided by selenium 4 but your friend downloaded selenium 3 or selenium 5 then it might not work because some of the features might not be available or deprecated so all the team members need to be synced in this condition you might say that okay I'm not going to have my dependencies in local, but I will have those dependencies within my project itself. But this will increase the size of your project. And the third problem might be compatibility. Whatever jar files we see here, these versions are compatible with each other. Suppose you are getting some error and you need to upgrade the version of this dependency. Then if you try to add, it might be problem for other jar files. So it will be really difficult to upgrade or downgrade the dependencies in some conditions. So all these problems we can solve using a tool called Maven. So Maven is a build automation tool used primarily for Java projects. It has so many features, so many capabilities, but I'm not going to explain everything in this video because we have just started this playlist and I will ensure that you get all the information about Maven slowly. But whatever problems we have now, these problems can be solved using the Maven. So let's try to implement Maven now. We don't need to download the maven explicitly because whatever ide you use we have maven built in we can convert this project which is a non maven project or simple java project into a maven project but instead of converting this project to a maven project i am going to create a new maven project itself for that we need to go to main menu and here we have new select project this is the same window which we got while creating the first simple java project here I am going to give the project name like selenium maven retarget common and it will be java project and you see the build system here we have IntelliJ, maven and gradle so last time we used the IntelliJ but this time I am going to use maven so select it JDK will be 11 you can change it also if you want and now simply click on create I am going to select new window so that I will have both the projects open so here you can see project has been created and 
Let's see what is the difference. This main.java was coming earlier also because we did not unselect or uncheck the auto generated code. That's fine. But if you see here in this project, we have some predefined folder like src. Inside src, we have main and test. The advantage of these folders we'll see later. But here we have one more XML file called pom.xml and this is the heart of this project. Since we have selected JDK 11, so automatically it is coming Maven compiler version H11. So let it be. We'll discuss more about these things later. Now the question is how to add the Selenium dependency in this project. For that, we need to go to central repository. So go to Chrome, search for central repository Maven. So we have Maven repository. Click on it and here we need to search for Selenium. Type Selenium. We see Selenium Java. Click on it and here you will see all the versions of Selenium. On the official website, we see the version 4.14.1. The same you can find it here also. You need to click on the version whatever you want to add. Click on it and here we have Maven tab. You need to copy these details and go to your project, Maven project, and here just add a tag called dependencies. We are inside pom.xml and within these dependencies tags paste the information whatever we copied from Maven Center Depository website. So when we add these dependencies, we see these are in red and these are in red because Maven has not downloaded the dependency for us. So for that, you need to go to right side, select this Maven. This will come only when you create the Maven project. For simple Java project, you will not get it. Expand this project, spend life cycle, double click on compile. So in the logs, you can see it has downloaded so many files for us. And you can see Selenium HQ, Selenium IE driver, the version, whatever we mentioned. All the jar files are same, whatever we explicitly downloaded. So this time Maven did this for us. And if you minimize this, and go to pom.xml, you can see there are no red marks now because Maven has downloaded the Selenium dependency for this project and already linked to your project. That means if I copy all this code from here, that means old project to Maven project, let me quickly create a class or let me paste everything within the auto generated class which is main. So remove all these things and paste it here. Just we need to import all these classes. So you can see Chrome offset is showing red. And if you do control space by there's no suggestions. Even though it has downloaded all the dependencies but still we are not able to import the classes. For that again go to Maven and simply reload all Maven projects. Now come back and Try to import it again. Now you can see Chrome options is coming. Similarly, we can import all other classes. And if I run this program, it is going to open the Chrome for testing, whatever we just saw in my last video. Let me run and show you. And here it is launching the Chrome browser for testing. In the simple Java project, when we expand this external libraries, we see all the jar files, whatever we linked. If you expand here, external libraries, here also you'll find all those things, whatever dependencies we added explicitly, but this time it was done by Maven. We didn't do anything. We just added three lines of code from Maven Center repository to the pom.xml of my project. Now another question where Maven has downloaded all these dependencies. So for that, you need to go to your user directory that will be in your C drive and go to users, your name. Then here we have dot M2. Here we have another folder repository. And here we have so many folders. Within these folders, they have downloaded the jar files for us. So just to show you, we have this dependency here, org dot selenium hq dot selenium. Then we have selenium hyphen API, then we have version. This is in my Maven project. So let me find this jar for you. So it is org dot selenium hq. Org will be one folder. Selenium hq will be a sub folder. So for that, go to your M2 and go to your org folder. Within this, we have selenium hq. So go inside this one. Now we have dot selenium. That means selenium folder will be present within selenium hq. So you can see Selenium is present. Go inside this and again we have Selenium API. If you go inside this one, Selenium API, here you will find the version whatever we 
requested for. Now suppose I don't want to use the latest version, but I want to use the older version. So go back and use 4.12.1. If you go inside this one, only the version will be changed. Everything will be same. So let me go to my Waveno project. Go to pom.xml. Instead of 14, update to 12 and compile it again. So you can see it is downloading so many jar files and simply reload all Maven projects. Now, if you go to external libraries and find Selenium dependency, you can see it has 4.12.1. It has replaced the version. And if you go to dot into folder, here also you will find two versions now, 12 and 14, because it is not going to delete the older one. For every version, it is going to create a new folder and it will keep the dependency. See, so using the Maven, we can easily change the version, upgrade the version, lower the version. There will be no need to download the dependency and add into your project. Everything you need to control through pom.xml. There's so many different advantages of pom.xml, but those will be covered slowly. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with others. Thank you everyone.